Hello everybody, my name is Alex. Imagine a world without telephones. We cannot communicate to our friends. We cannot get important news. We can also not play together and see exciting news with other people too. Thanks to Alexander Graham Bell. Now we know that the invention of telephones now we use today a and it is very helpful to see and and about to hear this presentation about the invention of telephones about Alexander Graham Bell, his life. And at first, I will tell you how Alexander Graham Bell is born, how Alexander died, and what he invented his childhood too. He is known for his teacher. He is a teacher and he is also an inventor. He is also like an immigrant. His but do you know that his did you know that his first patent is in America, even though he lived in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is the capital of Scotland. So now let's talk, talk about the life, about Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was born in 1847 in March 3rd and died in 1922. But let's keep on with his childhood. When he was young, he loved to find out more things, just like Thomas Edison does. And also, he also loved science and music. He loved to co collect shells and butterflies to study them. And also, he then, he, his mother taught him at home until he was 11 when he graduated, I mean, when he went to Royal High School, Unif High School. And also, he also, well, like the, the, the telephones, he wondered if he can communicate, so. And also, his mother was almost deaf because he, she was sick. And also, he, his grandfather and father have the name Alexander Bell, so he decided to get the name, nickname Alec. And so he and then he graduate. He graduated from high school in when he was six, fourteen, and at sixteen he became a young teacher. He taught children to pronounce words correctly. He also taught children, later, he also taught children a few notes of music too. He also used a system that can help pronounce words from deaf people. He can still learn from deaf people by now. And soon, their family moved to London and also his bro there there are two brothers too but sadly the two brothers died the young brother died first and the second brother died late the younger brother died first and the older brother died second Alexander Graham Bell still survived and be his mother and father told him that because of the dirty and polluted air inside the large city of London, so they moved to Canada instead. The Canada have a lot of fresh air, and soon he decided to get a get and live there for a peaceful life. He also still studied uh, more and more about teaching too. Soon, his father moved to Boston, Massachusetts, and he went to, and he met a principal from a school with deaf ch children. 
And so, uh, he, his father said that Alexander Gr said that Bell can also teach the, the deaf children. And the deaf children was teached by Alexander Graham Bell. So, but not only Bell was thinking about the school, deaf school, but also he was also thinking about something else. He was also thinking about the. Um, he was also thinking about the inventions. He have a lot of ideas for the inventions too. And also, but as uh, uh, at that time, the fastest way to get the messages is by telegraph. But you need to learn a special code, and it will take a little bit shorter. But Alexander Graham Bell wanted to make it more and more faster. But he had an even bigger idea. What if he can make uh, messages that can call and communicate through wires? He thought of it. And soon he got a, a assistant named Thomas Watson. Soon he moved to Washington. I mean, he just stayed there and in his normal office building, he tried many experiments and tests, but many of the experiments did not work. But Thomas, I mean, at Bell and Bell and Watson did not give up. And so he one day, uh, one year later, he was caught calling into the te telegraph into the machine alexander bell replied that, replied that he needed to see watson and soon watson was working in another room and he heard the machine had a shout soon watson ra ran out of the room and rushed to Bell's room and said exciting news. He had heard the very first telephone call. Soon, a few years later, he in in Massachusetts in again Massachusetts he decided to have a party, a large fair to welcome the telephone to everybody. Soon he moved to Washington D.C. And then he even still taught deaf people, such as the famous leader Helen Keller, too. Soon he got to he got the first he made the first telephone call, the coast to coast call. In eight in the in the late eighteen hundreds, it is from New York to California. Soon, the first, the first telephone was made inside the White House. It only had a few calls because it wasn't a modern invention like that. Today, people still inspire the Bell's invention. And if you imagined a world without telephones, we won't have telephones to communicate. But his modern inventions, the telephone, is still a telephone to come. And now we know about the life of Alexander Graham Bell. He also soon moved to Washington, D.C. and died in 1922. And here are some cool facts about Alexander Graham Bell. One, his first pa patent was in America, but actually he lived in Scotland. Two, he is a famous immigrant too. He moved from Scotland to England to Canada to the United States in to the United States in Boston and to New York, Philadelphia, and other uh, cool, like cool cities. And soon he moved again to Philly, 
to the capital of the United States, and it is Washington, D.C. People will never remember never forget about Alexander Graham Bell's invention. It inspired many people today, too. And also, the Bell's invention was also he was also very, very if thought of. And also, at the past time, Alexander Graham Bell is more creative, but also he was not Mm, good at building and holding things, but luckily he did many experiments to find out about all of young and now about Alexander Graham Bell and his life. And now we know the life of Alexander Graham Bell. So this is the end. Goodbye everybody and thank you for listening.